Now I've seen this beautiful project that you have here. Mm -hmm. I've gone through the house and it beats my imagination. Because I, I, I see this house to be very small. But yeah. when we went in, it's way different. Yeah. So I have my last question before you take me around the house okay. and show me what exactly is in there. Um, how long did, did it take for you to put this together? It actually took a, a little over a year. And okay. that part of that was because of the rainy season, the rainy which season. was extra long, seemed like last year. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, then you, you pay as you go, right? Yeah. So, you know, just getting the money. And, and um, during that time, I retired. And mm -hmm. so, you know, just different things that happened. Okay. Um, it took a little bit longer than I then it has to. I think okay. for other people, it may not take as long to get a house built. Yeah, right. Yeah. So when you say pay as you go, what does it mean? When 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 they come, they work this part. You pay them. They come back work this part. Is that what? Yeah, yeah. So you have to pay for your house as you go. Right. In the states, you can get a loan. Okay. For the whole amount. So if your house says fifty thousand mm -hmm. dollars, you can get a loan for the fifty thousand dollars. And then you pay the bank yeah. every month, but you're going to pay the bank with interest. With interest, yeah. So by the time you finish paying back the bank, you probably done paid three times mm -hmm. as much okay. as what you paid on the house. Okay. But here I love it because you pay for it as you go. So now I have no mortgage. I no have mortgage. No, yes. no payment. <laughs> you're not paying anybody. No, no, no. no. I have an electric bill. Okay. Um, but I have the, you know, the borehole. The borehole, yeah. I have solar. Okay. Um, and um, I have um, a generator. A generator. So... If the electric goes out, which it did, as you might yes. know, yesterday, yesterday for a long time, <laughs> I <laughs> used my to, solar, solar um, and then when the solar ran out, I had my generator. Yeah, okay. So, so you have three different right. um, power supplies yes. to your house. Yes. And that is good, you know. You need to give yourself that option. Don't only rely on the government rate. Just try any other thing like that, okay? Yeah. So I want you to take me on a tour to your house. Okay. And then let's see what you would say at the end of this video. Let's do that. All right. Aquaba. Thank you. <laughs> so this is my home. Okay. And this is the hall. Wow. Can I can I sit on this? Yes, you may. <laughs> this is one of my favorite places. I just got this sofa okay. last week. From uh, someone made it for me. Oh, Custom wow. made it. Yeah. This is nice. Yeah, very nice. And I, I love, love I love the texture. It's like yes. it, it really it wouldn't get dirty that easy. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, so I really love it. I gave him the design and, okay. and he did and it. And then for he me. did it. Yeah. So I, I wanted to ask this. Mm -hmm. Um those who move to Africa, I know you may have had some perception yes. about Africa. Africans living in Africa, even in Ghana to be specific. Mm -hmm. What were some of the perceptions that you had? And then when you go here, has it been like that? Or it was like, oh, it's never like that. So mm -hmm. we need to change the narrative. Mm -hmm. How has it been with you when it comes to that? One of the main things that you're told here is when you were coming is that the, um, the people mm -hmm. don't like African-Americans. They say that people and, don't like African Americans. Yes, and that we're not welcome. Oh. Oh, but when I when I got here, it was totally opposite. They were, you know, a quava, a quava everywhere. <laughs> you know, that's what the, the first word I learned was a quava. So. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and um, the people were so kind and, and are so kind and, and generous and helpful. Mm -hmm. So that part, I think, was the biggest myth that was okay. dispelled for me. Yeah. And and were, were there reasons why they, they thought Africans don't like African Americans. I uh, think that part of it is the narrative that comes from um, people who are, you know, like the colonizers. Oh yeah, <laughs> you yeah, know, yeah. And they because they don't want us to come back. To come back, yeah. You know, um, in this, in this, if you're in the states, you and you're working, you're helping to sustain America. Mm -hmm. And so, if a bunch of us leave, then that's yeah, going to impact gonna America, it, right? Yeah. So. They would say to, you know, the narrative was, they, oh, they don't even want you over there. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't, they don't believe that you belong, you know. Yeah. You know, my ancestors were taken through, you know, mm -hmm. on the slave trade. Yeah. So I do belong here. I'm, yeah. I'm not your mom, but I may be your auntie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> for real, for real. Yeah, and, yeah. There, and, there, and there are a couple of times where I meet people 
and they're like, hey, Akoa, you look like my cousin, you look like yes. my niece, you look like my dad. Absolutely. So definitely we are one blood, you know. Yeah. Uh, uh, due to slavery, yes, some of us were sent there. Mm -hmm. But I think the truth is that Africans love Africans all over the world. Yeah. And that includes yeah. African in diaspora. Yeah. So it was funny when I used to hear that people say Africans don't like African Americans. For what reason? I don't even get it. Right. But the truth is that we love all of you. We want you to come. Yes, there may be some negative attributes to our character or their character, mm -hmm. but we still want, wherever we will go, we will still be Africans and make this thing happen. Yeah. So I'm already loving here the conversation. Just keep, take me around. Okay, Because sure. I, might, I might even spend sure. the night here. So I look, I, while I was yeah. looking for you, I was looking at this big photo album that my niece made for me. They, they gave me a huge party when I left. But look at, look at my dad. And see, he looks like what? Yes, that's my, that is your dad. That's my dad. I would have said that is a Ghanaian. I know somewhere. <laughs> I know, isn't that something? What? Yes, that's my dad. That's is that my you? Mom. That's okay, my that's mom. mom. My dad and my mom. Um, and actually, it's a bigger picture of them up there. Okay. Of this one, but when I look but at honestly, that, I see so many people that look like that. Yes. <laughs> if, if you should take this one to town, someone would think. Someone would ask. Hey, who's whose uncle is that? Where yes, is this? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Wow. <laughs> so tell me about this um, idea of the shelves and everything. Oh, okay, so in the States I had bookshelves okay. or bookcases, you okay. know, because I had a lot of books. I didn't bring them all. Mm -hmm. um, and so I wanted to have something for my books. Okay. You know, so when I was asking them to, to build it, I said, you got to build it deep enough. So that my books, because when they were building it, they were making it kind of narrow. Yeah. So the books really wouldn't be able to sit. I was like, no, you got to make it deep because I got big books Ooh. that I need to is have it, on there. Is this cement? No, it's P.O.P. Wow. I thought it's, um, yeah. it's a wooden structure. Yeah, I know. A lot of people think it's, uh, yeah. wood, but it's, it's the P.O.P. Wow, I love this idea. Yeah. I yeah. love this idea. Thank you. All right. Thank Let's you. Go. So, and so this is, you call this the hall. Mm -hmm. And then this is the dining room. So, you know, again... Mm -hmm makeshift everything so yeah. when I had this wall done this wall painted mm -hmm. and then I went down the Cape Coast um, for lunch and I was riding by and I saw that yes. painting yeah. at, at um, somebody's art studio mm -hmm. or whatever and I was told my driver Ezekiel stop stop I gotta get, to that. get that <laughs> <laughs> and it's just perfect for for that it just sits there nicely so and I think this is a line yes and yes. I think this represents you. Yes, the line of Because Jesus. for you to get this, to be that courageous enough to leave everything and come here, yeah. that, that yeah. makes you like a lion. You have the attributes of a lion. Oh, thank you. Yes, yeah. I love that. I love, I love the painting. You see the way it is looking at us. Yes. It's like, yo, I'm Very focused. Strong. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> sure. All right, and then this way is the kitchen. Oh. That's my so phone, so let me get that. Hey, I'm in an interview with okay. Echo Simpson. Yeah. I'll call you back. That was my daughter, Denise. She said, keep uh, that in the interview, the phone call. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so she could be on the interview. All right. Sure, All right so right. this is my um, my kitchen. And um, I love, you know, the way they've had it. If, you know, in the States, I had a kitchen very similar, was so, a little yeah. bit bigger, mm -hmm. but um, everything, and if you notice, my cabinets are kind of low, yeah, you know? so you can, you can make your house exactly, exactly how you want, you want it, it. Yeah. you know, so I told them, don't, because when I was staying with Kezi Yard, and every time I'd have to get something, you have to go like, like this, yeah. right, so I'm like, no, my cabinets have to be low. Um, I love it. I yes. love the open kitchen idea. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm also, you know, the, the more I, I, I move around with you, with the African, African diaspora, mm -hmm. I also learned one or two things because I'm planning on building for myself and I okay. keep seeing the open open kitchen with a dining and I love yeah. that idea. Yeah. Yeah. It what just you... makes it feel more comfortable, mm -hmm. you know, like you got your family, if everybody's sitting there yeah. and you know, and just... so you feel together right. and you don't feel like you're separated right. in, in the kitchen in the away kitchen. from anybody else. Yeah. Okay. And I'm then I got this food over there. humongous pantry. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, you know, it's not the cleanest right now, but, yeah, but it's, okay. yeah. it's clean. And so this is where I have all my Whoa. stuff and all my, you know, um, appliances and mm -hmm. things over there. And I even have a little popcorn maker, Okay. you know, yeah. uh, right here. Oh, so I make my popcorn. own popcorn. Um, 
Love so doing that. If you that. have friends here, you can have your own popcorn. Mm-hmm. Do your thing. Well, but even by myself, I yeah. do popcorn. And I see you have your a pharmacy here. Yes, yes, <laughs> I bought it with me. So I am big on natural supplements and vitamins and okay. things like that. So okay. um, that's what a lot of this is. You know, like some of this, but which I really don't need here because they have all the great mm-hmm. veggies and everything is without. GMO okay. in the states, everything has you know so many chemicals, chemicals in it. So in it. I would buy you know this is like whole food. It's like all of these vegetables just Put together compressed for, okay. into a capsule and stuff like that. And you know so with some of this these yeah. things, now that I'm here and mm. I'm eating the real food, yeah. I don't need to take. But yeah, but I do have my definitely have my okay, pharmacy. So since we're in the kitchen, mm-hmm. let me know some of the local foods that you have tried. Oh, you have tried oh, cooking okay. yourself that you love. That I've tried cooking, yeah. not, not many. <laughs> <laughs> but which one do you love? Cooking? I love the groundnut soup. The groundnut soup. Yes. Okay. The rice balls. Oh, okay. Yes. That's so the rice favorite. balls and then the groundnut soup. You yeah. love it with with fish or meat? Uh, with the chicken. With the chicken. Yeah, I'm saying groundnut, right? Or yeah. Call it? Yeah. Yeah, that is a yeah, yeah groundnut mm-hmm. soup. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Wow. So that's the one I love, and the the uh, fried rice, of course. You love fried rice. Oh, what about yeah. jollof? It's okay. It's not as spicy or flavorful yeah. as the fried rice. Have you tried fufu? I have. I, the fufu is okay, but what's that other one? Banku. Yeah, I'm not feeling that. Oh, you're not feeling banku. <laughs> <laughs> banku is kind of like pretty nice with a big tilapia, you know? Mm, yeah. yeah. The fish. Yeah, you know, the when fish. you go to a restaurant and you get the whole fish. The whole fish, like, oh, big like that with a bit of banku. Oh, and pepe. And uh, you know water coming from your nose because it's really <laughs> not the pepper is really hot. All right, let's That's go show nice. me around the room. Um, so this is the laundry room mm-hmm. and storage, as you can see. Okay, you 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 have everything organized. Is that is that the the American lifestyle? Because everything is like yeah, pretty, organized. Pretty you know, much. put this thing here, put that, yeah. keep that thing here. Yeah, most people are that way. We have a place for. Everything. everything yeah yeah but wow. this is not as organized as i can be this is really not that organized this is not even no. organized. <laughs> <laughs> i'm not done oh, okay <laughs> sure. and then down here um i think i meant did i mention that it's going to be an airbnb at yes. some point and actually i do have someone already okay um staying in the the room there okay but if you go down this way you can see um, a, a separate door so mm-hmm. people can come in, you know, separately. They don't have to come right into the living room. Oh, all right. But they all come right. into the so to this way. And then okay. this is one of the bedrooms here. Yes. Okay. So if you're watching this channel right now, uh, we're having a discussion. Uh, we're looking around uh, Carrie Kane's apartment, and then she's mentioned that she has two rooms. Are they two rooms for Airbnb or more than two? Two. So we have two rooms in this beautiful apartment that when you're coming to Africa, when you're coming to Ghana, coming to Central Region or Asebu to be specific, you have a place to lay your head. There's an Airbnb apartment here sharing with Karen. I think, you know what, if you're going to be my first subscriber coming here, I'll personally gift you something if you're coming to stay at Karen's place oh. and I enjoy the scene. I mean, I'm loving the whole place already. I wish I could travel and come back and say, I don't have a place to stay, so I'm coming <laughs> to rent an Airbnb. <laughs> but I'm loving this place. So anybody come in and uh, they want to um, purchase your place mm-hmm. for an Airbnb, yeah. how do they do that? What, what, what do they well, have to do? Right now, I'm, I haven't even put it out on Airbnb or anything. Okay. I just been talking to people who know people and okay. they, they've been getting in touch with me through my phone or gmail okay so mm-hmm. that means if i get any uh phone call any message hey i need a place mm-hmm. to stay in atiba can direct them here yes absolutely. right beautiful and absolutely. i will definitely do that okay We're changing the narrative yes all right and yes. if you could put my information on definitely i'll put the email be address and everything yes. there so that they can directly contact you all right, all right. This is my massage chair that I brought back with me from the States. Mm-hmm. I've had it for like almost 20 years. 20 years. And then when I got here, it wouldn't work anymore. It wouldn't work. <laughs> is it electronic? Yes. And it was massage. So if you feel it's got, it's got the, the mm, things that would something. massage your okay. back, you know, yeah. would move up and down your back. And 
um, and your legs, it would massage your legs. Oh, so, but oh, I can't get it to work anymore. It's not working anymore. Like that, it's going to be massaging. Yes, it would go up and down. It was, <laughs> it was wonderful. Yeah, so, that's great. And then a little exercise thing. Mm -hmm. Who, who, who gave you this idea? Here, the painter. The painter. It's the painter Emmanuel. It's, it's something yeah. different. Isn't it very nice? Very and he nice. showed me a picture, and when he showed it to me, we both was like. Oh, we gotta do it. We gotta do it. Yeah. It's yeah. not. It gives like when you're seated here. Assuming you're seated here with a table and a chair, and maybe you have internet and working, mm -hmm. and you raise your eye and you see this, it yep. kind of like gives you more ideas right. as to yeah. what you want to do. I love. I love yes, this. It's very creative. I love and it's clean. Yeah. Yes, One thing, did an excellent wait, job. Let me let me say something. One thing that I've realized coming here is that your place is clean. Oh, thank you. And Do I you ever work in any place that is like uh, any place that goes into cleaning and anything? Because your place is clean. No, but I did live. My my um, second husband was a person who kept everything clean. So right. for all the years that we were married, my house was clean. So it's like ingrained in me yeah, that yeah. I can't have anything. <laughs> That's one good thing. He yeah. did do that good thing it. for me. So. I love it. And so this is um, one of the bedrooms I can show you because um, it's not occupied yet. Hold um, on. I, um, my grandson, Xavion, who's not, Zavion. he went back home. Okay. So while he's gone, this this is going to be rented out. So I'm going to, you know, remove some, some rest of his mm -hmm. stuff and, and get it ready for that. And it also has its own bathroom. Okay. Let's, let's, let's check the bathroom. Those of you mm -hmm. coming that want to come and stay here at an Airbnb, uh, this is where you're going to be at. Okay, that's oh, nice. the light is over here, I think. Yeah. Yeah. That's a cool one. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah, really built this place, man. You really built this place. Yeah, it's yeah. it's really nice. I'm really really happy with it. I love it with it with the with the lightning, with the lightning and everything. I think I'm loving it. Xavier, you've done well, yeah. You've yeah. also kept the place nice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you <he> did. <laughs> All right. Whoa. All right. And, and I've seen this. this uh, the, you were talking about solar panel. So yeah. what are these? This is the um, where everything is stored. So these are the batteries for the solar. Uh, for okay. the solar. The panels are up on the roof. Oh, yeah. We can get a look at those. And this is the, all the prayers for the lights mm -hmm. everywhere. This is um, how you change it from solar to electricity, electricity to the generator. So that all that's housed in one place. Yeah. And even that, it's a still organized. I love that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I yeah. think I'm going to use the word the most organized house in a city. Oh know. wow! Yeah, because I love it. I love the whole vibe. You know. Well, thank you. Yeah. And like I think I mentioned, my grandson. Mm -hmm. CJ. CJ, he's in this he's room. He's in this room, but yeah. we're not gonna we're not gonna disturb <laughs> him. And so this is my my bedroom. So okay. I'll just let you so all let's come go in. to the queen's bedroom. Uh, oh. I haven't I haven't done any furniture or anything yet in here. So yeah. this is everything I brought with me from the states. But this is where I'm staying right now, and I'm going to eventually. It's going to be not simple because I'm going to get a big old bed. Big old. <laughs> yes, it's going to be crazy. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> That's my plan. All right. This is my closet. Oh, so this glass door is in the room. closet. Let's go. Yep. So I love this. I love having all that space mm -hmm. for my clothes and things. And then this is the shower. And I, I can open this if you yeah. want. So you can see it's got a big shower. Yeah, very so big one. It's two shower heads, and okay. then it's a seat in the middle. Okay. So, well, what know. is it? What is the use of the seats? I I was gonna have a tub, mm -hmm. but then I changed my mind because I'm getting older and I'm okay, you know, trying you to get sit. in and out of a yeah. tub. So I sit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> After a long day in yeah. the sun, yeah, I come and I just shower. Shower, put the shower on me and I sit there and I just let the water uh, away. <laughs> so nice. Yeah, so I thought about that. You know, when you get older, you have to think yeah, about things like right, that. And right. um, also being able to put my foot up and, mm, you know, wash. to wash instead yeah. of having to, you know, bend down. And then here's the, the um, the you know, the, yeah. the commode. And that leads right back out to the um, 
to the bedroom. To the bedroom. Mm -hmm. Okay. We want to go through this, but we can't too much. I'll close that up. And it takes me right back, so oh. I have this yeah, straight so you, line. Yeah, so you either use here, <laughs> there, or use here. Right, well, right. You have you have a nice place, honestly. Thank you very yeah, much. You have a nice place. The way you yeah. put a place up, like anybody who comes here and sees this, that person must be happy for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, they are. I'm very happy for you. I mean, thank you. Seeing this, this is not just to you. Okay, somebody would want to know because people, when they are coming, they want to be like, hey, how much did she spend on the whole thing? Can you put a, a, a price to this? I would, I don't want, wouldn't Maybe give an range. exact price because so many things I did I upgrade and I changed yeah. and things like that. But I, I started out around 60,000. U.S. 16,000. 60, 60,000 60, U.S. Mm -hmm. I started out with that. Mm -hmm. And then as I, you know, added on and mm -hmm. made some adjustments, then it went up. It went up. But I think that someone can do it for 50,000. Okay, depending. Yeah, depending on, on how many How many rooms do we have here? Um, Total rooms or yeah. just bedrooms? I bedrooms. have four bedrooms. Four bedrooms. Four and a half bathrooms. Four and a half bathrooms. Yep, and then you get the hall, the dining room. The hall, the dining room, the, and the kitchen. kitchen. And these halls, that hall over there, so yeah. you know, is pretty big and stuff. Great. So the separate entrance. Great. So, so now, some of those things I did that others yeah. wouldn't have to do. Right. So, mm -hmm. um, so far, you staying in a stable Pan African village. What has been the most interesting times for you as Karen King living now in a stable? What has um, been the most interesting time? Like, oh God, I'm happy that I'm here. And definitely there will be times where you'll be like, oh, I wish I could go back. Has there been? <laughs> I never said that. Okay. I never said that. That is, that is what I don't want to hear. I never I want to never hear that. I never said I want to go back. Okay, what about I a positive? I say um, the people. Yeah. Like when I came, they weren't finished building my house. Mm -hmm. And so I was staying, like I said, with Nikio and Kezia for a while. Mm -hmm. And then when I moved here, they were still working on things in the yes, inside. Yeah. The young people that I met, that were you know working on working. the house and the um, the uh, the young ladies who would come and bring the you know the, yeah. the stuff for us the, for them to buy mm -hmm. and I always was buying it that buffalo or buffalo, buffalo yeah yes. yes oh my goodness <laughs> that was nice that's a nice thing yes yeah. um, so just meeting them and getting to know them mm -hmm. um, was really really nice because right. um, I, my heart is for young people right. you could tell sixteen yeah. grandchildren you know it's like <laughs> I need some more kids around me. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait to the day you're gonna have a party for all of them. There must be a time where yeah. all of them must come to I know, this house. I know. If 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 you don't get a place to stay, if you, if you're a grandson or great grandson of Karen Ken and you don't get a place to stay, <laughs> you can sleep in the kitchen. Cause, That's right. Because <laughs> she's made a place for you. There's a there's a saying that. Uh, when when you build a place, the people will come. Yes. When you set a yes. place up, they will come. If That's it's not so there, true. they don't see why they have to come. Yeah. So I am inviting all the Karen Kane family from the <laughs> top to the bottom. Even you're the last baby, you need to make sure that you need to listen. You have to honor your I don't I, honor your great grandmother, your grandmother, or your mother. Just make a step. To this building, to this land, to this property, and just bow down and raise your head, raise your hand, and say thank to the ancestors for bringing our mother here. Because I feel this is so emotional for me, because mm -hmm. people want to make a move, but yeah. they are scared. Yeah, sometimes they are. So yeah. when you make that move, you become like the the king or the queen yeah. to the family. What is your message to anybody who is watching now and would want to? make a decision to move here i would say um just come just do yeah. it take that step start you know saving your money doing whatever you need to do um and also i'm going to be doing um land as well but over in jaqua jaqua so i'm going to have a um i'm working with on a project for hebrew israelite community okay so i know that there are a lot of hebrews um, that want to come but you know um they may not want know how you know mm -hmm. to acclimate themselves yeah. so i'm, I'm going to be available for people to not necessarily if they get land from me or not it's not the issue mm -hmm. but i you know to be a source and a resource yeah. for them to help them get here 
because um, I just know that it's a lot of us that are awakening yeah. and feeling the, the pull to come, to come yeah. but sometimes we just don't know how to take those steps, mm -hmm. those first steps. It's a leap of faith. Yeah. You know, it was a leap of faith for me to leave everything. I mean, I was getting ready to retire. I had my house. I, you know, I, I had, you know, a couple of cars. I mean, mm -hmm. I was just living. Yeah, yeah, living and All good. my beautiful grandchildren <laughs> around me. I was having fun playing games yeah. with them all the time. And then all of a sudden, you know, I yeah, was just snatched up. Yeah. It's like, all right, I want you over here yeah. across the country. Yeah. So I had to follow what the most I wanted me to do. Great. That's what so, I'm doing. Great. So if you're watching this video, thank you very much. I've had a wonderful tour here in Karen King's house. Uh, so beautiful. Shout outs to anybody from Washington and the other states. Raleigh, North Carolina. Okay. And or that's just what? North Carolina. North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what. But hey, thank you very much for checking us out. Put up a comment. Let me know what you also think about this whole project. Peace.